we celebrate her success. Even more, we celebrate her effort. When it came to her constituents, there was no task too big or too small for the Congresswoman. If it needed to be done, she made sure it was done and done right. A former president and quite possibly a future president celebrating the life and career of Sheila Jackson Lee. The Congresswoman's passing has left a void in the hearts of many for whom she was a constant. Her passing has also left a political vacancy, and the battle for succession is underway, pitting at least one former mayor, two sitting state house members, and at least four present or past members of Houston City Council. Panel on Friday, Governor Greg Abbott declared a special election for November 5th to decide who will finish Jackson Lee's current term, which ends December 31st. In the meantime, Democratic precinct chairs will decide who will be the party's nominee to serve the two-year term beginning January 1st. Tomorrow, Bill, uh, and this is still fresh for you. I don't expect you to talk about the succession, but uh, I do want to give you the opportunity to say a few words. Um, first off, I want to thank Houston for giving her what she deserved. I mean, it. Um, I, 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 I was blown away at the love. Uh, I have, of course, was at all services, spoke at him with a 36-year friendship. I mean, that is what you do for your friend. Now, let's get to this race. On the one that was about the succession that Governor Abbott just approved, I am begging, I am pleading for Erica Sherwin Lee to do those, those last two months of her mother's term. She has been with her mother this whole year through this. As her mother was going through her illness, she knows what her mother was doing. I'm begging her, I'm pleading with her to go forth and, and put her name on the ballot to finish the term. Now, about this other the race. Let me tell y'all, I don't know who I'm for, but I damn sure know who I ain't. Because when you ran against her before and you lied and said, what else you didn't do, it didn't work, and your ass ain't never done nothing in your life other than for yourself, I'm telling everybody not to vote for you. <laughs> then, when you say that you're supposed to be so kind to her and love to her and have your little event for her, but you was doing it because you plan on running, anybody that's in this race who you never saw their face before they wanted your vote, don't vote for them. Hmm. All right, Marcus. Yes. <laughs> you know, whether you like it or not, you're an influ influential person in this town. Yeah. And people are going to be wanting your support. Uh, but I would like to hear your thoughts on this. So, uh, as we mentioned before, the, the uh, we're off camera, um, I was thoroughly amazed at the motor, the engine that the Congresswoman had. Watching her work from morning, noon to night, work ethic was impeccable servant to the people impeccable so all i have to say is as as the, the constituents of district 18 consider who uh can fill those big shoes bigger than shack's shoes and you need thick soles because she walked the city tirelessly you need to look for a servant mm -hmm. not a politician so not an elected official mm -hmm. but you need to look for somebody who has a heart for the people mm -hmm. april get it christina morales has uh throwing her hat in the ring. Thoughts? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I've never seen her anywhere. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that I saw she led a lot of events for victims. She showed up to my niece's event. A day after she passed away, we had a vigil, and it was raining and pouring. And I saw her there for Maria Gonzalez, and I've seen her there for countless events. We do need a, somebody that's going to be there for the people. And like Tamara said, not just because now they want to run. That's right. We need somebody who's been in the community and has an ethic, a work ethic that mirrors Sheila Jackson Lee. Go ahead, Gary, 30 yeah, seconds. I appreciate all the comments from the panel because I think they're absolutely right. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to puncture your balloon. <laughs> 88 people make the decision who the Democratic nominee is going to be. This is a gerrymandered Democratic district. So whoever the Democrats nominate is going to win. And based on reading the tea leaves and what I hear from my sources, the nominee is going to be Sylvester Turner. Mm. Aren't you excited about that? Uh, I will say this about Sylvester. He was a crappy mayor, but as a state legislator, he, was a, he did a good job. Interesting.